Oh man, so this week I go into putting together my self-publishing news as I normally do. And just when I thought I didn't have that much news, Draft the Digital comes in and shares uh, pretty big news. Street Lib comes along and says, last minute, hold my beer. And then we're going to go ahead and discuss other things that are rolling out from the folks over at Book Brush. Uh, gosh, and even an indie author event down in Orlando, Florida, that's 100% free for you to attend and be at. So I'm going to give all that in today's self-publishing news for July the 24th of 2023. Learn how to publish books and build your author business with award-winning author and self-publishing consultant, Dale L. Roberts. This is the Self-Publishing with Dale podcast. So you can enter for a chance to win a Miblart book formatting and layout package the drawing is going to be for that on August the 1st of 2023. Enter daily. Remember, you need to confirm your entries in order to actually qualify for that. That means look out inside your email inbox. If you don't see an email from King Sumo inside your inbox, as soon as you enter, go into your spam email, check it there because it's probably there. Uh, I know your, your provider's probably trying the best for you, but that's at dailylinks.com slash giveaway for that one. Let's go on over into the first item in the news coming from the fine folks over at Book Brush. Kathleen Sweeney is going to be doing a whole tutorial showing you Book Brush 101 in July, 2023. This is on July 27th. Book Brush is a platform where authors can easily create their own professional looking ads and marketing images for social media, book covers, and so much more. I've known Kathleen Kathleen for quite a few years now. She is a gem and she knows book brush like the back of her hand. She just zips through that thing like it's nobody's business. This is a free webinar that's going to be on July 27th at 2 p.m. Eastern time. All right. And uh, it's hundred percent free. And honestly, you can get uh, access to book brush hundred percent free as well. So don't feel like, Oh, they're going to pressure you into buying something. Yeah. They're going to probably sell you on book brush, but keep in mind, they do have something free. Now, as far as something else that's not free is their book marketing event called book Marcon. It's on August the 11th to the 13th of 2023. I actually brought up this not too long ago, but I really need to hammer home that if you want to get in at the early bird pricing, you want to do that from for July the 31st, before July 31st. Otherwise, after that, the pricing goes up. Good news is they actually gave me a $50 coupon. There's no kickback to me. It just helps you out. If you use Dale 50, that'll take $50 off your virtual ticket to attend this event. It is a veritable who's who of many people within the book publishing industry, including Evan Gow's Story Origin, Michael Aran of Author Level Up, Mark Leslie Lefebvre of the founder of Kobo Writing Life and Draft Digital. Uh, so many more. You want to take a look at that. Bookbrush.com slash bookmarkon. Don't forget that $50 off unless you like to lose money. I, I don't know about you, but I like, I like money. I like keeping it. Let's go on a little further forward. I've actually got a line out in the water here with the folks over at Audible Gate. But if you've been following any bit about Audible Gate, or if you haven't, go over at audiblegate.com to get more details. Uh, about a couple of years ago, there was some issues when it came to Audible dipping their hands into account holders' uh, pockets and pulling directly out of it. There was a bit of a glitch. They got caught taking refunds blindly from people's accounts, putting some people into the negative. Well, I don't know if this is directly correlated with the Audible Gate ongoing litigation, but I did get this served to me on Google Alerts. Audible wins contract claim in a lawsuit brought by authors. Now, this comes with a subscription to Bloomberg Law, but let me go ahead and give you the TLDR, uh, just the real brief running through here. Audiobook platform Audible successfully defended itself against contract breach claims brought by self-published authors after a judge said their contract included a stipulation for deducting returns from royalties. The agreement authors sign when publishing to the platform is unambiguous and entitles the Amazon company unit to deduct returns, the court said. While independent authors may well view Audible's return policy as unfair, they may not have fully understood the policy or the way it affected their royalties. But that does not cast doubt on the meaning of return in the agreement, Judge Jesse M. Furman said. So uh, this is not, not good news. Um, 
this is not a good step in the right direction. I hope that eventually Audible gets their head out the rear end and start to understand what they're doing to independent authors and self-published authors and some trad pub authors there as well. Uh, I'm not a big fan of ACX these days. And in fact, I have been pretty much telling people don't go strictly to ACX anymore for this very reason, that they just go ahead and call the shots and you just got to lie down. Here's the part that's very, very defeating. Anytime that someone buys your book through Audible, they immediately get an email that says, oh, hey, by the way, just so you know, you can go ahead and return and here's a book you can go ahead and check out. They're encouraging returns. That's stupid. That's just bad business practices and it's just slapping me straight in the face. Ah, ACX, I'm over you. All right, let's move on forward here to the folks over at uh, good e-reader, Internet Archive takes action against ebook piracy. This is fairly interesting, especially coming from the Internet Archive, who a few years ago were embroiled and actually I think they're currently in a lawsuit regarding their whole distribution of books that they were scanning. Now, uh, I think it was called Digital Lending Library or something like that, in which they would take library books that weren't in ebook format and they would scan those and make them readily available to people for 100% free. Now, you may or may not be aware of this, that any time that you purchase a book in its version of that, you have the rights to read that in its way, but you do not have the right to distribute that beyond that. It would be like the same thing of like, I would buy a movie. I would record it and distribute it to all of my friends. That's 100% illegal. For some reason, the Internet Archive thought it was okay. Well, here we go. Internet Archive says, oh, we're against ebook piracy, just so you know. What? I, what? Then why are you pirating people's books? It makes zero sense. But Goody Reader goes into the full piece here. So you want to take your time Go and read that piece. Again, links are inside the description as per usual. Uh, this one comes from the desk of Vervante. Actually, I have an interview coming up here soon with the founder of Vervante. They are a print-on-demand distributor with the widest array of options for print-on-demand. And actually, they had just shared they're adding metal corners for books, planners, and journals. This is really really, really freaking sweet. Now, I think they had already had this available, but when I saw this come into my email inbox, I was like, you know what? People probably want to know this is there. Vervante does have integration with things like Shopify. So if for some reason you want to make a planner or a journal or a book or something like that available with the metal corners added to it, you've got an option now. Uh, speaking of print on demand options, there's actually this offset publishing option called puffer print. And, uh, I've always kept an eye on puffer print. Big shout out to Jeremy out there. Uh, Jeremy actually put together a piece called how to get funding for your book. Plus the six best crowdfunding sites for writers. Let me give you the TLDR and I'll tell you all the crowdfunding ones you can look into. And some of them I've never heard of unbound is one of them. Indiegogo, Kickstarter, Patreon, Publish Sizer. I've never heard of Publish Sizer. That's a really interesting name. Sounds like a workout routine with Suzanne Somers or something. GoFundMe, personal website or landing page, grants and fellowships, social media campaigns, and writing contests. Now, there's a much deeper dive in the piece. I highly recommend you go and read that. Alrighty, moving a little further forward, the news from the world of Draft 2 Digital. Huge fan of this aggregate publishing platform. Love them, love them, love them. They're fantastic. And they're actually going to be doing a webinar on July the 26th. And it is going to be covering how to use D2D's coupon manager tool that's directly integrated with the Smashwords store. This is on Wednesday, July 26th at 1 p.m. Don't worry, this webinar is not some high pressure sales or anything crazy like that. You're gonna learn a lot of great information. It's always really, really good to hear from Drafted Digital. So I highly recommend get yourself set for a spot there and you'll discover why their coupon manager tool is really awesome and how I love Smashwords store and the integration they have with Drafted Digital, which if you're not familiar, Drafted Digital bought Smashwords, another aggregate publishing platform last year. And this is part of that integration that's rolling out. Now, here's the big news that's coming from Drafted Digital. 
draft to digital acquired selfpubbookcovers.com. Okay, now you're probably saying, what's the big deal? Why is this new? Selfpubbookcovers.com is essentially like a marketplace for book cover designers that they're able to set their own rates and authors can come in and shop and browse. It's a little older. The site's a little bit outdated in my opinion, but Drafted Digital went and acquired that website. And over the next year, they're going to be doing a little bit of an overhaul, making it a little bit better, a little bit more user-friendly, something that's a little bit more up-to-date, a little more modern, if you will. And they're going to be finding a way that they can bring good qualified cover designers to put to self bub book covers and a good friend of mine and previous guest here of this channel and future guests of this channel as well nick thacker is actually going to be the vp for author success it's a new division of drafted digital that's going to be trying to enrich a lot of account holders that are using the drafted digital platform and those that are even outside of the drafted digital platform so big congratulations to drafted digital on the other acquisition i'm afraid one of these days i'm just going to open up my dad Dashboard. I'm going to see that they've acquired self-publishing with Dale. Oh my gosh. So in any event, that is selfpubbookcovers.com. You can go ahead and take a look at that website. Again, they haven't done any changes just yet, but it will be coming relatively soon. And if you want to catch that upcoming interview with my good buddy, uh, Nick Thacker, we're actually going to be doing the 200th podcast episode on uh, uh, August the 7th at 6.15 p.m. We're going to be talking about launching a best-selling book on Amazon KDP. Nick is going to deep dive on this, and he told me personally he's looking forward to this particular venture here. So any rate, let's move a little further forward. There is going to be a workshop put together by Written Word Media, the key elements of an effective book cover with Rebecca Haskell. This will be on July 27th at 12 p.m. You can see there is a lot of different webinars and things for you to attend, especially this week. Good Lord, there's a lot of people. Rebecca Haskell is a professional book cover designer and illustrator during her 10 years serving the independent publishing community. She's worked with hundreds of authors on thousands of covers and has a keen insight on how to make the most of what is the single most critical aspect of any book's marketing strategy. Is your cover working for or against your book? In this session, Rebecca will teach you the key elements that make an effective cover, learn how to identify good design, speak directly to your ideal reader, and make educated decisions as an author, and give your story its best possible chance on the marketplace. So go check out that. That's going to be on July 27th at 12 p.m. put together by Written Word Media. All right, this next piece actually comes from a recent guest and the winner of the last Miblar giveaway, Catherine Kopf. Uh, by the way, if you haven't had the opportunity, make sure that you go over and visit my main channel, watch the video. She smells like smoke because she's been through fire. Uh, Catherine is just a gem. She's absolutely just a positive personality. Uh, she shared a lot of her struggles with me and working with a vanity publisher. And I talk a little bit more about the whole scamming business and all that type of stuff that she ended up getting swept up into. Uh, but at any rate, Catherine actually shared in her interview a very interesting piece that um, there is going to be an indie book fair. This is going to be over in Orlando, Florida. It's on August the 12th from 12 to 4 p.m. And it is free entry so six featured authors will read from their latest work, raffle door prizes, and more are going to be handled. Genres include children's, teen and young adult, fantasy, romance, urban, contemporary, self-help, and memoirs, and so many more. So that is over in Orlando, Florida, August the 12th, 12 to 4. Big shout out to Catherine. Thank you so much for bringing that to our attention. And you can also go to IndieBookFair.net to get more details. I'm not sure if you're able to still set up shop over there, but maybe you can get some more 411 for the future years. And it sounds like they're going to be expanding beyond Orlando motorcycle person just drove by it's not like i'm recording a podcast here but whatever we're gonna go ahead and keep rolling with it here and the next bit of news comes from the fine folks over at street lib now street lib is an aggregate publishing platform they distribute ebooks print books and audiobooks now print books is a little limited right now but they're looking to expand relatively soon you stay tuned to this channel we're going to be having an exclusive interview with Julie Trellstad, who's in charge of U.S. distribution with Streetlib. But at any rate, 
uh, Julie reached out to me just before I went live to let me know something big. And this press release is hot off the press. Street Lib partners with Dreamscape Media for global audiobook distribution. Street Lib, the cloud publishing platform that allows book publishers to distribute their catalogs internationally and Dreamscape Media, an award-winning publisher and publishing services provider, today announced a multi-year agreement for global audiobook distribution. The new partnership offers book publishers and authors access to an extensive network of you ready for this 44 online audiobook platforms via street libs online publishing service streetlib.com at competitive prices and uh, julie actually expanded on this in her email to me she said uh uh, when we talked before this deal wasn't done, but now it is, you're the first to get this. We just signed a deal with Dreamscape Audio, which means we'll be able to give an, any publisher access to Dreamscape Audio Distribution, giving authors 44 total audio distribution channels. We offer the same deal as Findaway, 80% net. However, it's not quite apples to apples since Findaway isn't transparent about the deals it has with the retailers. This is kind of a big deal since the only other options were Audible, ACX, Amazon, and Findaway Spotify. Since the two big guys have focused on original content, there hasn't been a good place for indies to distribute their eBooks until now. I think she means audiobooks. Happy to chat if you want to know more. That is fantastic news. Speaking of fantastic news, folks, as we wrap up today's news segment, don't forget you can enter for a chance to win a Get Coverage Premium Movie Poster Design Package worth $35 when you visit dalelinks.com slash giveaway. All links are, of course, inside the show notes as per usual. What did you think about some of those news items? Is there something that I possibly missed? If I did, hit me up over on Discord. That's at dalelinks.com slash Discord. And you can always go ahead and tag me at Self Pub with Dale over on Discord. There is over 800 authors there right now. A very active community. There's so many different channels you can be part of. I don't want to miss you on over there. And if, even if you have nothing to say, just come over and say hi to me over on the Discord community. Look forward to seeing you. In the meantime, this has been Self-Publishing with Dale, and I'll catch you next week. You've been listening to the Self-Publishing with Dale podcast. Visit us at selfpublishingwithdale.com for more information on how you can level up your self-publishing business. Also, check out our growing video-on-demand service, chock full of free and premium content, when you head over to theselfpublishinghub.com. If you enjoyed the show, please consider leaving a review on your preferred podcasting platform. We thank you for tuning in and we'll see you in the next episode.